Hey, what's up everyone? Um, just coming really quick. I received um, a couple of questions in my inbox. I was checking it today and I wanted to kind of touch on some of the questions that were asked. Um, the first question says, when did you start your locks? Um, I started my locks January 13th, 2009 and that day is very special to me, I am a member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, Ooh. <laughs> and um, I wanted to start my locks in January so that I can keep up with the good progress of my locks, and January 13th just so happened to be the day I started my locks. Um, I'm coming upon three years now. I wouldn't trade my locks for anything in the world. <laughs> Um, another question that was asked to me was how often do I wash my locks? Um, at first, I was washing once a month, um, but lately I have been washing according to my hair's needs, which means maybe about two weeks two or three weeks. Um, it's been a week and a half since I washed my locks. Um, I'm probably going to wash them again next week. I'm going to wait two weeks and see how my hair does. But um, honestly, I just wash my hair according to um, the, the way they feel. Okay. Um, it says, the next question says, what products do you use to retwist your locks? Um, I, I kind of did a video on this already, so uh, you might want to check back to another video I did about the products that I use. Um, lately, I have been using oils, nothing but oils. I've tried, and I'm not joking, I've tried almost every single lock product out at the beauty supply stores. But lately, I've just been using um, grapeseed oil or tea tree oil. Um, Africa's Best Herbal Oils, um, Olive Oil, um, Vitamin E, Carrot Oil. I, I, I'm sticking more to oils now, and they come in a little tube, um, 99 cent at the beauty supply store. Um, the Olive Oil Hot Oil Treatment, I will be doing more often. Um, I do use the Herbal um, Africa's best herbal oil on my body once I get out of the shower so a lot of times if I have the access in my hands from um, getting out of the shower I'll just rub them rub it through my locks um, which I did this morning um, before I put my headband on so um, I do not try to use beeswax um, I will use a gel every now and then but like I said, lately, for the past like two or three months, I've been using nothing but oils. Okay, so I hope that answers that. Um, the next question says, what advice do you have for those who want to start locks? Start them. <laughs> um, well, I'm trying to remember. I think I went, I originally went natural uh, February 7th. Of 2007 and I went I did the bit chop uh, I wore a fade <laughs> I wore a fade I did um, for a while and um, I actually wore a wig I bought a very short wig and I when I was going through that in-between stage when my hair was not long enough for braids but um, a nice little afro, maybe about an inch. I went and I bought a wig. And I bought, wore a wig for about a year. All of 2000. The end of 2007 and then the beginning of 2008. I finally threw it away. <laughs> the summer of 2008. And then I started getting micro braids. After micro braids, I just started wearing my fro. And finally, I was just fed up. And I just... I was tired of paying $180 for micro braids every three months. So I looked into locks. I started researching locks and I just started them. I hated the way I looked when I first got my locks. I really did, to be honest, I did. I hated my locks. 
when I first got them. But the, my significant other, it, 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 all that mattered was that he loved them. And, and I stuck with them, and I've been sticking with them almost three years now. So my advice would be to just whenever you're comfortable to start them and, and you're not worried about what people think about you, when you're not worried about um, what in, anyone is going to say, that that's when you should start your locks. Okay. Um, the next question, have you ever been discriminated against for having locks? Yes, I have. Um, not within my profession right now. Right now, um, I've got two promotions, and I'm going to keep saying that. Like, I got two promotions. <laughs> Literally, within a, mo a month or two behind each other, I got put in one position, and, and I did so good at that one position, my um, district manager put me in an another position. Um, so, as far as this current job, no. But before I got this job that I'm at now, um, a, a, um, what was she called? A recruitment manager or something? You know how you go to the staffing agencies or whatever and they uh you know try to help you find a job or whatever because i was having a tough time finding a job and um and i have a college degree and i went to this lady and she told me you will never get a job with your hair like that and this you all was back when i first started my locks so you know i had the itty bitties um and i like to call them my itty bitty babies but i had them itty bitty babies and she told me i needed to cut my hair or i needed to get a, a sew-in weave because that was what corporate america accepted uh silky straight black hair i needed a sew-in <laughs> she <laughs> i just have to pause pause all the time every time i tell the story to anybody because it's just like so amazing because now i'm making more than she is <laughs> Okay, so, you know, just be yourself. That's what I found to help me find these jobs, this job, especially the one that I'm in right right now. Um, I, I have almost 20 tattoos, and um, I got the job. So uh, um, I have been discriminated against as far as the police goes. Um, I was mistaken for a guy. Um, I like I said in a previous video, I like to wear hoodies and jeans and t-shirts a lot. So, um, and I was driving a Caprice. <laughs> so, all of you all that know what Chevy Caprices are, I used to own one, and I had that, and I was it was late. I was getting off work, and the lady thought that I was a guy, you know, because I had locks and I was, you know, dressed down. And when she got my ID, she was like, oh, you're, you're a female, you know, so uh, a lot of times, like I said, a lot of times I've been discriminated against, I, if I have, it hasn't been out in the open, but that lady telling me that I needed to get a sew in and cover up my tattoos, it was just ridiculous, so, um, but now I've come to embrace my locks, I love my locks, um, I get complimented on them, so, um, another question was, do you tie your locks at night? <laughs> Religiously, I do. <laughs> um, the only time I won't tie my locks down is if I know I'm going to wash my hair the next day. Literally, um, I, I would have to wash my hair the next day. It, um, sleeping without my silk scarf kind of, um, dries my locks out to me. Uh, I'm not big, really big and concerned on lint, like I said before. Um, it, I know it comes from a lot of the shirts and hoodies that I wear. So, um, I'm not giving up my hoodies, and I'm going to say that over and over again. So, I have watched, um, I can't remember her name. Oh, goodness, she's free-forming. She's so beautiful. But I watched her video the other day, and she gave me some great advice on lock, I mean, lint removal. Um, with the Paul Mitchell clarifying shampoo, I still have not located it. Um, I'm on a manhunt for it here in Atlanta. So if you live in Atlanta and you know where I can get Paul Mitchell clarifying shampoo, please inbox me and let me know or comment and let me know. Um, but yes, religiously, I, I tie my locks down. Um, I use a do rag from that wind is crazy, you guys. Um, I tie my locks down first with a do rag. Um, I push them all to the back because, as you can see, and if you look at a lot of my videos, I just wear them straight down, straight back. I'm not big on styles. Um, I will every now and then tie my locks up, but uh, for for the most part, I'm usually in a headband or. <laughs> 
I'm usually with scarves. I have a lot of scarves that I've purchased um, since I do work in a uh, professional office setting. I, I have to maintain um, a professional look. So, like, I, I'll come like this, but um, I just push them all back. I put a do-rag on first. Um, now I've noticed that my locks are getting a little bit longer. So I did go and purchase me another silk scarf um, the longer they get. But um, I just tie them down. I, I pin them all up and make sure all of them are covered. And then I put the silk scarf over the do-rag. Sometimes I won't sleep with the do-rag, but if I know like today, I, last night I did because I knew that I was wearing, um, I knew what I was wearing today and I knew I was wearing a headband. So I wanted my edges and my new growth kind of to be really, really secure now because I'm not retwist because I didn't really retwist. I just did a light maintenance on uh, my locks and a light maintenance is just going through and palm rolling and then going to the next one palm rolling just making sure that these excess hairs are um, with the right lock but yes I do tie them down every night religiously um, I am I, 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 I do I've been doing it since day one um, even before I got locks when I was relaxed I always tied my hair down at night so um, I think let me scroll through and make sure these are the last questions yes i think that's the last question um but if you all have any more questions please 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 ask me um that's what i'm here for when i started my youtube channel i really um did not post videos i just watched them and the more i watched the more advice i got the more advice i was coming to my mind <laughs> to help out with so us as lock wearers let's help each other out um i, I have a lot of advice a lot of uh stories to tell you about my locks so um yeah let me know what more questions you have i'll be happy to answer them and um don't be surprised if you see me on your page asking you questions as well <laughs> okay um so now i have to get back to work um i will see you all next time peace